Hello everyone, I'm Farshita Kabir and our project is about a health monitoring system that simulates two major aspects of health, temperature and heartbeat rate. It presents the numerical value of these two aspects and maintains a data logger system where the patient's data can be stored and reviewed for further medical history and checkup purpose. Well, hello there, you know? I'm Ahmed Anur Rain and in the farm report, firstly, we define all the variables which are pulse LD13, threshold, and the temperature pin. Here, the pulse is connected to pin 0 and LD13 is connected to pin 30. We also assign the threshold about 550. And if a signal crosses the threshold, it will be considered as a bit. And now, we configure the pulse sensor object by assigning variables to it. When we run a loop, the functions that returns BPM as an integer and calculates our followings. The next loop is to check if a heartbeat happened or not. If it is true, it prints the information and shows us the results. Now I will run the code. And you can see that it is running without any problem. In our virtual circuit, we have used Arduino Uno as the microcontroller of the system. Then comes our sensors the heartbeat sensor that senses the heartbeat from the human body pulse, the LM35 for giving us the temperature count of the human body. This is the voltmeter and this is the potentiometer. And this is the Comport phys physical interfaces model that works by capturing and buffering serial signals which it then presents to the electrical circuit. And this is the virtual terminal which is used to view data coming from the serial port and vice versa. And these are the ground and power probes, respectively. For the pin configuration part, we have connected the VCC pin of the heartbeat sensor with our LM35, the Vout pin with the voltmeter, the test pin with our potentiometer. The Arduino's A0 and A1 pin is connected with the voltmeter and LM35, respectively. The COM port and the virtual terminal is connected with the Arduino according to their RXD or receive data and TXD or transmit data pins respectively. We have our Arduino code already compiled and this uh, is the code's hex file path which we will load into the microcontroller by copy pasting. So this is the path that has been loaded and after that we will load the hex file of the heartbeat sensor from our Proteus library and we will load the path into our heartbeat sensor and this is the path of the heartbeat sensor's hex file. After loading them both and ensuring all the pins that uh, are connected accordingly, we will go to the simulation part. And here in the virtual terminal, you can see the previous default values of the heartbeat and body temperature that is being shown in, in the uh, virtual terminal window. So if you increase or decrease the input of the LM35 and the potentiometer, the heartbeat and the body temperature output will also show the increment or decrement in the virtual terminal. So this is a basically a system uh, that helps you to keep track of the human body temperature and heartbeat that will further guide you towards monitoring a patient's well-being in general. Hello, I'm Aman uh, Now I'm going to explain the lab view part of our project. And in this table, our heart rate and temperature data will be logged. And graphical representation of heart rate and temperature data will be shown in this two uh, graph. Now let's look into the log diagram part of our project. Here we have Visa board. It will get data from Proteus Com board. Then it will be read by these two Visa reads. Since we are fetching two data from our Proteus, we are using two visa reads. Furthermore, since we wanted to show our, on our data graphically, we need numerical value. That's why we use a string to number converter here. Along with that, we need to log our data by date and time. That's why we use they get date and time string. Now we need to fill our data table. That's why we use build array here. It will create an array of string of our data, then it will be inserted to array. This whole process will be in while loop and will be repeated in every 4.5 seconds. Now let's turn on the lab view to see the simulation. Here we can see our data is logging successfully. And that's the end of the on this video.
thank you so much for staying with us